as we start davening Rosh Chodesh El, leading up to Rosh Hashanah and then Yom Kippur, so most of us are going to be davening that we should be zayichet to have good things, good wishes, health, happiness, etc., etc. But there's something interesting in the Psukim, and we'll just give one example in Tehillim, and which is the Shir Shoyim of Shabbos. So it says there, the Frayach Rishoyim Kamei Eser, when Rishoyim starts sprouting like grass, the Yatitzu Kopele Oven, and people that do bad things start profiting and growing. The Yishandam Adaya, the reason why they're profiting like that is because Hashem wants them to have bad in the next world. So they're getting all their good in this world. So we must keep in mind that we can't know. Yes, we want to daven for anything that's good. But just because our tefillahs don't necessarily get answered, that doesn't mean that it's necessarily bad for us. We just have to daven for Hashem for what we think we need. If we don't get it, it can be good, it can be bad. There's no way for us to judge. When good things happen to bad people, that's in order to take away their oil and And when bad things happen to good people, that's in order to get them a better oil and habo. So we should not calculate whether our tefillahs get accepted, not accepted. The proper way to approach these days is to just dive into Hashem for what we need. If we get it, good. If we don't get it, also good. It's good all the way around. And that's the way Hashem wants it. Hashem wants us to constantly be thinking about Him and constantly be dominating and not to rest on our laurels and think that we need to get exactly what we get and then we stop thinking about Hashem. Hashem wants us constantly thinking about Him and therefore we can't know whether something good or bad happens to us, whether that's actually good or not. And that's why we just must continue to daven. We should all be zaycha to the Yeshuas and Rafuas and the Chamas and everything good for Kalei